Hi, this is Liz Haddock. I'm the founder of Social Work Exam Strategies. In today's video, we're going to talk about transference and countertransference. What is transference? Transference. This is when the client projects feelings from past relationships onto the therapist. Transference can include positive and negative aspects of previous relationships. Let's look at some examples. Negative aspects. A client becomes angry at you during the therapy session when discussing their toxic relationship with their stepfather. Another example would be a client receiving therapy has a sexual attraction to the therapist. Now let's talk about countertransference. Countertransference. This is when the social worker or the therapist projects their own unresolved personal conflicts towards a client. Now let's look at some examples. Therapists may be reacting more positively towards a client because they remind them of their mother. A therapist feels inadequate when working with challenging clients. A therapist feels down and depressed after a session with a depressed client. Therapists could develop an attraction with romantic feelings towards a client. Therapists could be overly protective of a patient who reminds them of their child. Therapists could become angry at a patient who has an alcohol addiction because they had a parent who was an alcoholic. So here's a quick memory trick to help you remember the difference between transference and countertransference. If you look here, the word transference, it starts with the letter T. This is feelings towards the therapist, T for therapist. If you look at countertransference, C is for client, feelings towards the client, C for client. So if you're looking at transference, that means the client has feelings towards the therapist. And if you look at countertransference, that means that the therapist has feelings towards the client. So now let's apply what we learned from our previous slides into these questions. We'll break down three questions together. During a therapy session, a 32-year-old client becomes angry with the therapist. When he discusses assigning DBT homework, she sighs loudly and states, this is not what I came to therapy for. I'm not in high school anymore. The therapist remains calm and states, it sounds like you're upset about homework assignments. Tell me what you're experiencing right now. After exploring the emotions that surfaced, the client and the therapist realized that she was experiencing unresolved anger towards an abusive high school teacher and was projecting those feelings onto the social worker. This is an example of A, transference, B, empathy, or C, countertransference. The correct answer is A, transference. The client was projecting past feelings that she experienced with her high school teacher onto the therapist. Question number two, a social worker has been meeting with a five-year-old boy who was in foster care due to neglect. The social worker notices that she is overprotective and minimizes a child's negative behavior. The social worker finds herself taking on a parental role. This is an example of a, transference, B, empathy, or C, countertransference. The correct answer for number two is C, countertransference. The social worker is projecting her own feelings onto the client. Question number three, a social worker experiences feelings of grief when working with a client who has terminal cancer. The patient reminds the social worker of her mother who died two months ago. The social worker recognizes the experience of countertransference but feels helpless and unable to cope. In this situation, what should the social worker do first? A, seek supervision or consultation. B, refer the case to a colleague. Or C, disclose the feelings to the client. The correct answer is A, seek supervision or consultation. During the exam, if you have a question where the social worker has conflicts due to countertransference or transference, you should always seek supervision or consultation.
Thank you for your time and I hope you like this video. If you like our video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we post new content. Please post a review on our comment section. If you are looking for study materials or live workshops or have any questions, visit our website at www.socialworkexamstrategies.com. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey towards licensure.